Let's get started. Create a new composition, go to composition, new and name it text. For this tutorial, I'm using 1440 by 1080 pixel, with 25 frames per second. Duration of this composition is 15 seconds. Click OK. Now grab a text tool and write your own text. Resize and align the text as per your need. For this we are using white color for the text. Create a new layer, by clicking layer, new and solid layer. Name it to Stardust. Perfect. Go to effects and presets. And add Stardust effect to the new layer. Hide your text layer for now. Move your Stardust layer into middle of the screen. Now go back to Stardust layer, and go to Emitter. Change type from point to text or mask. Speed from 100 to 0. In path properties, change emit type to edge. Speed along path from 0 to 15. Speed randomness to 5. Go down and change layer from non to text layer. Move your timeline to 0. Click the stopwatch next to particles per second. To add a keyframe, change it value to 0. Now move the timeline to 4 seconds. And change the value to 100. Close emitter section. Now go to particles section and to particle properties. Change speed from 10 to 3. Change particle color from solid to gradient. Go to color gradient and click preset. Choose any preset as per your requirement. Change transfer mode from normal to screen. Go to Stardust tree. And add two more functions to the tree. First add auxiliary and connect it to the particles. Now add particles and connect it to auxiliary. Go to auxiliary, and change speed from 100 to 0. Now go to particles under the auxiliary. Change life per second to 1.5. In particle properties, change size to 1. Go to over life, change the size by clicking preset and adding fade out. Before moving forward, change the name of all the properties, as we have to add more properties to this layer. Just add lines before every property and for the last property, just rename it to lines o particles. Now go to stardust tree and select or and press ctrl d to duplicate. Before doing anything, just rename it. Change lines to digit. and organize your property panel and your timeline to work and for less confusion. Now we have to create a new composition to add digits to the Stardust particles. Create a new composition and name it Digit. Change the width and height to 100 and duration of this comp is 8 frames only. Click OK. Now a text to the composition. You can add any symbol or number. I'm starting with 1 for frame 1. Resize to frame 1 only and duplicate this layer using Ctrl D. Move the layer to frame 2 and double click to open it. Change its value to 0. We have to follow this procedure till frame 8, now we can add symbols to it. You can add any symbols. For this I'm using digit 7 font. You can download from this description down below. Now go to project window, and add digit comp to the timeline. Hide this composition. Go back to stardust property, and go to digit emitter. 
in particles per second, change the first keyframe value to 20 and move the end keyframe from 4 seconds to 7 seconds. Again move your timeline to 0 frames. And click stopwatch to origin Z. And change its value to minus 250. Now move the timeline to 5 seconds and change it value minus 75. Again move the timeline to 0 frames. Click stopwatch next to size Z. And change its value to 500. Again move the timeline to 5 seconds and change its value to 150. Go back to line emitter property and go to particles per second. Move the first keyframe before the end keyframe. You can use page up for the same. Now go to digit particles. And change life per second to 7. Size random to 3. Transfer mode to add. Go to digit auxiliary and move your timeline to 0 frame. Click stopwatch next to particles per second. And change its value to 5. Go to 4 seconds and change the value to 60. You keyframe assistant for both keyframes and also use graph editor to ease it. Now go to auxiliary and change the value emit chance to 50. Go to digito particle and change the shape type from circle to texture. Change the size to 4. Change the transfer mode from normal to screen. Go to texture and select the digit layer. Change dark side to digit. Texture time sample to random still frame. And lastly texture color use to alpha. Now again go to Stardust tree and select all the digit tree and duplicate the digit tree and rename it and change digit to corner. Organize your property panel for less confusion. Now go to corner emitter and remove keyframes from origin Z and from size Z. Now go to particles per second and move the last keyframe to 4 seconds and change its value to 0. Move the first keyframe before the last keyframe and change its value to 35. Change origin Z value to minus 500. And size Z to 1000. Now go to corner particle. Change shape from circle to rectangle. Change life per second to 6. Size Y to 3. Size random to 0. Now change transfer mode to normal. Go to corner row particles. Change size to 3. Opacity to 75. Opacity random to 50. Go to corner auxiliary and change the particle per second to 35. Again go to stardust tree and add two more options to corner tree. First is replica. Connect it with the corner particle property. And second is transform. Connect it with replica. Now go to replica and change replicate type to corner. Change replicates value to 5. And density to 200. Offset X to 6 and angle X to 45 degrees. Offset X to 6 and angle X to 45 degrees. Now go to animate property and go to trim replicates over life and change its value. Now go to transform. Move the timeline to 4 seconds. Click the stopwatch next to scale Z and now move the timeline to 8 seconds and change the value from 100 to 30. Before ending the tutorial let's add a background and cam option to animate. Go to layer and add a new solid. 
and name it to BG. Now add again the Stardust effect to BG layer. Now add presets to this layer. Click preset, choose background and corner. Now click replace to add the background. Go to replica. Change offset X to 40. Change replicates to 10 or 5. Go to particles and change the color gradient. Choose the same preset as used earlier. Do it for both the particles. Go to emitter and change the size X to 2500. Size Y to 1500 and size Z to 2500. Background is done. Now we will add a camera layer and null object to the timeline. You can use 35mm preset, while adding the camera. Name the both layer as per your need. Click the 3D object for the null layer and link it with the camera. Now press P in camera layer to open position. And R in null layer to open rotation. Move your timeline to 8 seconds and click the stopwatch next to position in camera layer and also Y rotation. Change the value of Y rotation to 0. And for camera position to minus 1250. Move your timeline to 0 frames and change the value of Y rotation to 60 and for camera position to 250. You can add as many animation you like. If you like my tutorial, please like the video and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.